Hi guys, welcome to lesson six of our motion tracking in Nuke series. Um, now this lesson we're going to look at a difficult challenge of offsetting tracks and actually it's not a difficult challenge um, it's a difficult challenge if you don't know how to do it um, so what we've got is we've got a slider shot of a pair of ASICS Dyna flights or running shoes by here and what we've done is we've just added a logo just onto the bottom by here but so the problem is though is that area leaves 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 the shot um, so I'm gonna make this footage available to you guys okay um, I'm using frames 75 to 175 so just 100 frames um, now when you come to motion track this you would want to track as close to the area really as possible as where you're gonna put the logo so let's say the client has asked for the logo to be here you want to be tracking around this area you, you could probably get away on a slider shot like this of tracking an area up here um, because that that area stays in for the whole shot but if you need to track a, p an, a, a point which goes off for example let's say there was a little bit of rotation and scale in this and we needed to track a point by here and by here to get a stabilized version of the shoe well these points leave so I'm going to show you exactly how to tackle a shot like this okay so step one I'll make the footage available to you what you need to do is you need to write out frames 75 to 175 as a TIFF sequence using the right node so just TIFF sequence is a compression to none if you don't know how to do that then please check out my right node tutorial which i'll set up a link for um, once you've done that what you want to do is you want to come in view your tiff sequence i've set my um frame range to input because it's frame 75 to 175 so just set it up nicely what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a tracker i'm going to drag my tracker in here so again we know that we want to put it just beneath the bit of this ASICS logo by here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to a frame where I can see everything so frame 100 is good I'm going to make a new tracking point and I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my tracking point on this corner by here it's nice and contrasty I can put my small inner box down like there and I'm going to have this box just a little bit wider like that and that's going to be fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to track backwards to frame 75 and I know it's gonna that sticks pretty well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna track forward until to get as many frames as possible. Okay, so let's just hit track forward, and it's gonna go to about yeah, it's just gonna lose it by here. Okay, so I've tracked forward. So let's come and zoom in and see how long we can actually keep our track on here for. So assuming that all this is sticking, yes, it is. I'm gonna come forward frame by frame just see where we lose it because it may go off on one of these frames um we're actually okay actually i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lose this last frame because can you see the area it's locking onto a little like just a pixel of it has come out and it starts what it'll start do is it'll start stretching the pixels so i know up to here is going to be fine what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this extra frame that it's got okay so i what I can do is come delete clear forward so all of the keyframes forward of 146 is going to delete so just click that and it's deleted them what I need to do is I need to offset this now so I need to pick another area to motion track which is in for the rest of the frame and I want it to be on the same plane and by the same plane I mean in Z in Z depth okay I don't want to, I don't want to track this point up here because that point on the wall is further back in Z space so I want to be on the same plane so somewhere on the shoe makes sense and I think I'm going to offset it so if we come to frame 175 okay that point there that point there should be fine this point should also be fine so we want to get as close to where we've tracked as possible but also far enough away so that we know it'll stay in for the whole shot okay so I'm gonna come back to frame 146 so let's just scrub through and yeah it's gonna be this little bit by here I think so let's come back what I'm gonna do is turn off your this this add tracks button so turn that off and you want to zoom in holding control and it's probably going to be command on the apple uh, but holding control slash command click and drag your tracker and you'll notice you've got this yellow linking line and what that's saying is it's saying we're still going to be adding to the path down by here but wherever you set this up we know it's, it's now offsetted okay so all the tracking data we get from tracking this section all the way through will just get added to the motion path down here so that's pretty much how I like it. Um, if you need to move it around and stuff, just make sure that you hold control as you do so, um, because you've already because you've offset it. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to track forward and just make sure it sticks. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to scrub through. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, sticking well enough. That's what I need. And you can see that the actual tracking data, the, the keyframes, have been generated onto the motion path down here instead of jumping up here. Okay, so that's basically us offsetting our motion path. So I can now go ahead and click. Uh, check through that your track's working and everything. For for this tutorial, I'm just going to kind of assume that it is. Um, so I'm going to go transform and match move, and I'm going to click create. Okay, so I've now got my transform. So what I can do is I'm going to delete this transform over here, delete this one. I'm just going to very quickly walk you through my setup of how I've added this little logo. Um, so we've got our foot, we've got our logo coming in. Try hard Harriers. It's my running club. <laughs> Um, what I've done is it's come in with an alpha channel and we can tell this because we've got red, green, blue and alpha and it's got a full alpha so if we try to pre-malt it it'll keep the white areas so what I've done is I've said right remove the alpha so I've put, made a remove node and said remove the only channel I want you to remove is the alpha so it's now deleted the alpha so we've come in RGBA and we're now RGB what I've then done is I've drawn with a roto node, I've drawn in a new alpha channel and I've just basically got the roto node and drew a little diamond and then I've pre-melted it. So we've gotten rid of that white background, okay? So brought it in, got RGBA, but it's got full alpha, didn't like that, okay? I've removed the alpha, created my own and pre-multiplied that alpha to keep this area. I've then reformatted this to HD, I've transformed it down, so I've gone in transform node, I've scaled it down and skewed it a little bit and just moved it on top of the footage. Um, I've then, so let's view my merge node, so I did that with the merge, so I just used my transform, kind of moved it around. So actually let's move it around into place, let's say down here or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I've then graded it. So disable my grade node, I've just graded it just to match a shot a little bit better. And I've used a merge and overlay, okay? And then that's on top. However, if we kind of move through throughout, it doesn't really stick. Um, so as we line it up, let's just check in our tracker node. Transform, let's set the ref let's line it up on frame 125, for example. Set our reference frame to frame 125. So then as we move this into place let's say the client wants it just by here for whatever reason <laughs> uh, move it there now we put our match move node in this should get now match moved to the shot okay and again you probably in terms of this shot you probably could have got away with motion tracking a little bit up here, uh, a point up here for the whole shot um, but that's not the point you're not always going to be able to do that and you want to make sure that if you're attaching something, you do want to make sure that you motion track the actual location or as close to as you can. We tracked up here because this is a contrasty point and there's not enough real contrast to track down by here. So you want to do as close as possible um, in all circumstances. So I would have probably just tracked there and offset it. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how you do it. So anytime you have a tracking point that goes off, all you need to do is control click and drag it for the remainder of the shot and make sure it's somewhere on the same plane in sort of Z depth, okay? So I really hope that um, tutorial helped you. Um, check out some of our other tutorials, leave a comment of what you want to see in the future. If it did help, leave a like, um, subscribe and all that, and I will hopefully see you in another tutorial. Cheers.